Welcome back. My name is Jeff Stoffel, a partner technology strategist with the Microsoft TS2 team. In this session, I will show you how to utilize the Office 365 Partner Admin Center to view and manage your customers, as well as perform admin tasks. For those of you that are not familiar with the Partner Admin Center, I suggest you start with the first in the series, an overview of the Partner Admin Center. Let's get started. First thing you will want to do once you are in the Admin Center is click on the Partner tab. This should bring you to the Partner Admin Center with Client Management highlighted. You can see at a glance if any service incidents may be affecting your customers in real time by viewing the column Service Health. As you can see here, one of our customers potentially has an issue affecting their service health. You can click on the information icon to expose additional details. Let's scroll down and identify what particular service may be having an issue. If we look, we see that SharePoint Online SharePoint Features has a service degradation. Again, we can click for additional information. This will bring you to the details of a particular incident, as well as the current status of that incident. Let's go back. You can also view an individual customer service health dashboard by selecting a customer and clicking on service health. This will provide visibility into events or issues that may have impacted your customer's environment over the last seven days. If you see a symbol for additional information, you can simply click on the symbol to drill down into the incident. You also have the ability to view history for the last 30 days by clicking on View History for the past 30 days. This will expose all incidents logged for the last 30 days that may have impacted this particular customer. You can easily check your other customer service health by going back to the Client Management List view or by searching for the organization name. Let's try searching. You simply start typing the name in the search box a drop-down will appear with all customers matching the search criteria. You can then select the appropriate customer and jump into a view of their Service Health Dashboard. Another useful feature of the Service Health Dashboard is the Plan Maintenance section. From here, you can see any upcoming plan maintenance as well as the maintenance history. This is a great way to proactively identify any upcoming maintenance activities. Now let's work with Service Requests. Let's click on Service Requests from the left. From here, you can easily manage Service Requests on behalf of your customers. If any service requests were associated with this customer, they would appear on this page detailing the reference number, title, the current status, date opened, and the last modified date. You can view additional details by simply clicking on any service request that may be in the view. To find a specific service request fast, you can type in the reference number in the search box at the top of the service request page, or simply search for an individual customer and view all the service requests associated with that customer. Having one dashboard to search can save you significant time. To add a service request, simply click on the plus symbol to start the request. Select the issue type. In this example, we will select technical support. For service, we are going to select Office 365 Pro Plus. For service area, we will select installation. For problem area, we will select installation error or problem. Note how the system has already identified a couple potential solutions. This is great troubleshooting information that you can use while you manage your customer's environment. We will then click Next. As you can see, the possible solution links are still available. Let's add to the detailed description and click Next. We then enter the supporting information, then click Next. At this point, we can attach a capture of the error message. I happen to have one available to me, so I will go ahead and attach. You can then click Submit to enter the service request. Once submitted, the service request will show on your service request dashboard. You can then review the request, add notes to it, and even close the request if the issue has been resolved. Our last topic for this session revolves around performing admin tasks on behalf of your customer. Let's navigate back to the Client Management section. From here, you click on the customer you would like to administer. Of course, searching is still an option that is especially useful as your customer base grows. Notice that quick links now show up for client admin. Let's click on the Office 365 Admin Center. Note how you were taken directly to your customer's Office 365 Admin Center. Once you are done with your admin task, you can click on the Partner tab to take you back to the Office 365 Partner Admin Center. That's it for today. Thanks again for watching.